Welcome to the guided meditations with Shri Demla. This is a space for you to connect with your own self, to connect with your breath. This is a space for you to connect with the mother earth, the universe and the divine energies. To release all the energy blockages that stops you from living a fulfilling and phenomenal life and receiving divine healing and powers from the source from the universe from your angels and spirit guides and so many magical beings that are here to help you we are about to start a guided meditation for this meditation make sure that it is safe for you to close your eyes as you will be closing your eyes make sure that you're all by yourself in a room and you're not disturbed for the next few minutes you can put your phone on silent mode or flight mode and just sit in a comfortable position you can listen to this lying down or sitting whichever way it is comfortable for you make sure you have some water near you and you are comfortable once you're ready you can begin close your eyes I haven't planned this so I personally don't know how is it going to be as always but let's see what is it that the angels that the divine gods and goddesses have for us today so everyone just close your eyes and with your eyes comfortably closed just bring your awareness to your breathing observe your breath coming in and going out breathing in and breathing out your eyes are closed your physical body is beginning to relax your mind is becoming quiet and calm you are listening to my voice and any other sound that you hear in the background will help you to focus on the sound of my voice only breathe in and breathe out as you bring in your awareness to your breath just allow yourself to relax and then relax a bit more connecting with your physical body right from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes this body is your biggest asset here on this planet if you see within your body is a walking talking miracle or rather a bundle of miracles in itself your biggest wealth breathe in and breathe out there are numerous functions happening in your body so subtly and automatically 
that you may not even notice yet if anyone ever has to pay someone to do it it will take millions of dollars or crores of rupees yet your body is managing so much keeping the show running breathe in and breathe out so today on this special occasion and no matter whether it is a festival because every day is auspicious when you wake up breathing breathe in and breathe out commit to start every day with a celebration what if you celebrate every day like a festival because you are breathing and you begin with the gratitude for your body breathe in and breathe out sometimes human beings by the points of view from people around growing up and they make focusing on not enough significant not realizing that whatever you focus on expands in your life and thus they keep focusing on the lack on what is not working or who is not making them happy or what part of the body is not good enough yet your biggest key your biggest secret to having a fulfilling and phenomenal life is to always remember whatever you focus on will expand breathe in and breathe out and living a life of awareness of consciousness is living with this awareness and consciousness every moment with every breath what am i focusing on am i focusing on what is contributing to me or am i focusing on what is not contributing to me am i focusing on what i would like to actualize in my life or am i focusing on what i would not like to actualize in my life and that is the beginning of awakening of a soul of a being breathe in and breathe out so this diwali and every day there onwards just commit to focus on gratitude as it is the biggest currency you have on the planet earth it's an energetic currency that encashes multiple times because whenever you are in gratitude you focus on what you have that you that makes you happy and thus you multiply and you attract in multiples to yourself what you can be grateful for and what will make you more happy breathe in and breathe out allow yourself to connect with the energy of mother earth as it is the earth that provides the food the house the wealth the currency the money the gold the gems 
everything comes from the earth and the earth has no point of view no judgment of you and is waiting to just shower all the wealth and prosperity on you yet you got to connect and allow yourself to receive and also staying connected with the earth keeps you humble especially when you begin to receive in life it is important to stay grounded it is important to remember this is where i belong to the earth i can fly and yet i am connected with the earth So allow the vibration of the earth to come all the way through your feet up through all the cells of your body and fill you up with the wealth of the nutrients your body requires and the vibration that attracts all the wealth in the physical form that you desire allow the energy to seep deep into the cells of your body releasing all the limiting beliefs and points of view that stops you from receiving abundance of wealth and prosperity in your life flowing all the way to the top of your head to your pineal and pituitary to your third eye and crown and allow the divine energy of the earth to dissipate and dissolve the limiting points of you that stops you from connecting with the earth let your brain rewire breathe in and breathe out and from today what if every day when you wake up you spend 5 minutes in your bed sitting and just feeling this energy coming all the way to your root and from your root coming all the way up to your crown and healing your mind releasing all the limiting beliefs and rewiring your brain to the infinite possibilities breathe in and breathe out expand your awareness beyond your physical body invoking your spiritual team to be with you if you already know your spiritual team you know how do you sense them what are the ways they present themselves to you if you are new to this just know as you call upon them they show up and just perceive their awareness acknowledge their awareness whichever way you are perceiving them and now invoke the divine energies of vishnu it is futile to only focus on lakshmi 
without focusing on Vishnu. And this is the secret. May not be secret to many yet. We may forget implementing it or living it in life. But remember, the secret to your real wealth and prosperity to the Lakshmi is through Vishnu, is through calming your minds, expanding your awareness, acknowledging your own powers and potencies, preserving what you have and making the most of what you are given. When you take these steps, wealth and prosperity is a byproduct. Breathe in and breathe out. So, remember, your focus must always be on having a calm mind, staying expanded in your awareness of acknowledging what you have rather than focusing on what you don't have and continuing creating more and more from what you have. And when you be that energy, You are being the preserver, the Vishnu energy. And then you can have Lakshmi, the money, the goddess of prosperity and wealth. Breathe in and breathe out. And as the goddess of wealth shows up, She brings along the owl. Just know the owl is a symbol of prosperity, is a messenger of wisdom and prosperity. So allow yourself to receive the message of the owl. And now tap into the energy of Mahalakshmi. in this divine space of Lakshmi Ma. Allow yourself to get the awareness of the new possibilities that are now available for you as you surrender all your limiting beliefs to the divine and you open yourself up to the infinite possibilities. If you can live every day knowing that every prayer of yours is heard and every ask of yours is received, From today to the next Diwali, how would you be living your life? And what all would you be receiving as blessings, as gifts? from the divine 
gods and goddesses and your entire spiritual team. So right now, allow your mind to travel forward in time one year from now on 20th November 2025 and see how are you celebrating your next Diwali as you committed to live every day to your fullest with calm mind, expanded awareness and taking action every day one year from now how is the Diwali? See where are you? Is it the same house or a new one? Just allow yourself to receive, do not logicalize. See who all are there with you. Are you with your family? See how are you feeling about your work? About your money reality? About your body? As you live each day blessed by the Divine, one year may give you progress of 10 years or 20. How and how much is just the game of logic? Rather, your logic limits how and how much in the infinite possibilities of the divine time is insignificant what you may think you need 10 hours 10 years to create the divine can create with the snap of a finger breathe in and breathe out see yourself doing the Diwali Puja or whichever way you celebrate being with your family and see how feel how happy you are this year has been the best year so far your family is so happy as you know that it is going to get better and better as the divine is with you and now allow yourself to flash back through the year and see what actions you took to be there to feel like that How were your days like? What were the choices you made? What were the habits you gave up? Were there any people you let go of? Just get present to all of that. Because it is your everyday choice, the choices that you make every day and day by day the conscious choices that leads to conscious living. And now come back to the present moment, come back to your physical body. And along with Mahalakshmi, Lakshmi, 
allow yourself to acknowledge the presence of Lord Ganesh as it is important to audit what you create and that is what you learn from Lord Ganesh to always express your gratitude to the divine and to your elders and ancestors to before you begin anything and to always audit and account for everything that matters so today promise to lord ganesh that from today onwards you will account for everything that matters you will measure what matters your everyday expenses your everyday income your ideas and the progress and when you account you will get clarity and when you get clarity you get confidence and with confidence you get the courage and you can only have all of that when you allow yourself to receive from the goddess saraswati so as we invoke the goddess saraswati in this divine space right now allow yourself to acknowledge the divine presence of goddess saraswati and receive the wisdom and commit to goddess saraswati that you will open yourself up to learning new things because it is only when you continue learning you continue evolving you may ask goddess saraswati to bless you with the guidance of what to learn from where to learn to show up in your life with ease so together with all four of them you can totally unlock the secret of life of having a fulfilling and phenomenal life and this is the true essence of diwali with the blessing of the goddess saraswati you learn continuously every day and you implement what you have learned to generate money and revenue in your life and by the blessings of lord ganesh you audit what you are creating and the actions you are taking and when you do these two diligently you receive the blessings of lakshmi ma of goddess lakshmi and you always remember you do all of that by staying calm and expanded in your awareness breathe in and breathe out and let your breath remember that now so that from now onwards with every breath you take your body reminds you your mind reminds you to stay calm and expanded to continue learning and auditing and to allow yourself to receive because universe wants to gift you so let go of all the points of view that you may have that is stopping you from receiving in abundance 
expand and allow the divine white and golden light from the source to flow all the way to the top of your head through every cell of your body divine prosperity bath all the gods goddesses and the higher vibrational beings that are around you are showering their gifts and blessings to you right now as this divine white and golden light flows through your body your aura your energy bodies releasing any and all karmic blockages belief systems energies that stop you from living the life to the fullest being the best version of yourself tapping into your powers and potencies expanding your aura expanding your vibration expanding your awareness to infinite possibilities allow yourself to receive the vibration of gold allow yourself to receive the vibration of all the valuable material that this reality has to offer and what if from now on you allow yourself to have the concern of where to put all the money that is coming to me what to do with the money that is coming to me you deserve to be rich and wealthy it is time and it is your right because when kind and conscious people have money they spread more kindness and consciousness on the planet so take it like a message from divine that it is not just your right it is your responsibility it is your duty to be rich and wealthy you must make sure that there are more kind and conscious people like you who are rich and wealthy on the planet so that the money is channeled in the ways that expand more consciousness on the planet that is the message for you on this day always remember it it's there is nothing wrong in being wrong, being rich rather it is your responsibility your duty to be rich and wealthy when you will be willing to be rich and you will ask your angels and the divine to show you the way you will be guided just trust the awareness take the action and avalanches of money will flow to you avalanches of riches will flow to you rivers of divine wealth and prosperity will flow to you from all the directions up around and below filling you up with the divine prosperity take a long deep breath in and let go thanking your angels your guides thanking 
all the four gods and goddesses Vishnu Lord Vishnu goddess Lakshmi Lord Ganesh and goddess Saraswati for the divine magic they have already done energetically in your space thanking the mother earth for all the divine gifts and the healing thanking the universe thanking the divine light and golden light and the source energy thanking your breath your body and always thanking any and all the beings who ever contributed to you in all the ways they did be present with your physical body right from the top of your head all the way to the tips of your toes you can move your hands and your feet a little bit you can rub your palms put them on your eyes and slowly and gradually as you feel comfortable you can just open your eyes. welcome to the guided meditations with shri demla This is a space for you to connect with your own self to connect with your breath. This is a space for you to connect with the mother earth, the universe and the divine energies to release all the energy blockages that stops you from living a fulfilling and phenomenal life. and receiving divine healing and powers from the source from the universe from your angels and spirit guides and so many magical beings that are here to help you we are about to start a guided meditation for this meditation make sure that it is safe for you to close your eyes as you will be closing your eyes make sure that you're all by yourself in a room and you're not disturbed for the next few minutes you can put your phone on silent mode or flight mode and just sit in a comfortable position you can listen to this lying down or sitting whichever way it is comfortable for you make sure you have some water near you and you are comfortable once you're ready you can begin